All right, so this is from Gopi Krishna, fellow netizen, and he updated it well a few months ago, this year, June 2nd. And I don't use a Redmi phone, but well, the internet is a very big place, definitely. Someone does and has faced this problem, and my job is just to read it to the public. <laughs> That's the job I've given myself. And so it's actually an ingenious hack. I, I like it. I liked reading it and I want to share. That's it. And so here it goes. This is actually a simple tech hack that worked for me. I use a Redmi device. One day I was listening to music on my phone. My headset was plugged in. It was all normal until I removed the headset. There was no sound coming from the speakers. Music was still playing but no sound the headset icon was still on on the notification bar even after unplugging the headset like in the picture as you can see as a normal human being i panicked i plugged the headset in and out multiple times hoping it would solve the problem alas it didn't as a normal human being again i searched on google for a solution nothing came up most of the results told me to restart the phone which I did like everyone, even before searching on Google. Duh. I lost all hope and called a friend who had the same device, hoping he knows something about it. To my surprise, he also went through this issue. He said, don't worry, no need to panic. You go and take a cotton swab. At that point, I didn't know if he was being serious or just mocking me. Anyway, I got the swab. And he told me to put it in a headphone socket and gently push. I did the same and voila, the headphone icon disappeared. Music started playing through the speakers. It was a great relief as even the phone calls were muted because of this issue. Hope this hack helps someone. Edit, thanks for, uh -huh, I like that, showing appreciation. But there was a part that I really liked. Where was it? Where was it? Ah, okay. Yeah, he said that. Uh, even the phone calls were muted. And I can imagine how frustrating this must have been for him. Especially when he said he already turned off the phone, restarted it, and still the issue was there. It must have gotten scary. Like, hey, do I need to take this to repair? Hey, now they are coming to charge me more money. And I'm sure this, this is a student like me. You don't have you know, money lying around to be taking it to repair guys to be solving these problems. So, so I'm glad he found a solution. And, well, this is this is good to have in your mind. You never know. You never know. You may be in conversation with someone with a Redmi phone who is like, "Oh, Charlie, I'm taking my phone to repair, so they'll take me about you know 100 CDs or something. They say they'll fix this issue, blah blah blah." They're like, "Oh, what's the issue?" Only for him to mention the same thing. You can just smile and be like, "I got you. Give me some cotton bud and I'll fix it for you, Bob." So yeah, there's no useless knowledge and I hope I hope you benefited from this as well.